This is More Knowledge, More Wealth with your host, Gabriel Shaheen. Gabriel is a certified financial planner and a registered investment advisor at Falcon Wealth Planning. This show does not intend to provide personalized investment advice through this broadcast and does not represent that the services or securities discussed are suitable for any investor. Investors are advised not to rely on any information contained in the broadcast in the process of making a full informed investment decision. Now here's your host, Gabriel Shaheen. Hey, this is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here on every weekend talking about all important topics of personal finance. My job is to go over the knowledge you need to increase your wealth. Now, to the listener, you can always reach out to myself or any one of my colleagues here at Falcon Wealth Planning. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird, or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's falconwp.com for short, where you can get this episode or any one of our previous episodes as well. And feel free to catch us on iHeartRadio, Spotify, podcasts, you name it, folks. And visit our Knowledge Center over on YouTube, which is on our website as well, where you can get so many cool tips that can help you in your financial situation. Now, I'm the president of Falcon Wealth Planning. We are a fielding, non-commissioned, true fiduciary, folks. And we help you with all aspects of finance, something as simple as where you are today, how retirement looks like. Talk about taxes, investments, estate planning, insurance, folks, you name it. Anything that involves a dollar sign, we can help you with. And folks, we are offering one to two meetings, one to two hours of our time at no cost. Give us a call. We would love to help. And it doesn't matter where you are as we're servicing all throughout the United States with 20 locations. We would love to help. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON. Like the bird. Folks, it's holiday season. Some of us are already feeling the weight gain from Thanksgiving. We're heading into the holidays. And my goodness, it might be looking like a roaring holiday season. I'm seeing the lines at the stores, and it's busy. I've heard a few people say it doesn't look busy. It's going to be a slow season. But you can already see up how sales happened last quarter as the numbers are trickling it in. It is looking pretty well. Now, what's the whole point of all this? It got me thinking, okay? It got me thinking during Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I love my family. I love my in-laws. I love everybody, right? I just love life. But it really got me thinking of like the capitalistic part of it all. And I, as there, I was there at Thanksgiving, hearing my mother-in-law tell her stories as she always does. What do I do? I smile and be polite. But then after about, you know, 30 minutes of going into the same story, as you know how it goes, starts with one story and it splits off to 50 other directions. And a five minute story turns to 50 minutes. So 30 minutes into my 50 minutes, I end up starting to Google, right? As everybody's like falling asleep, listening to the whole thing. I start to Google like, well, is this really what Thanksgiving is about? And I just remember vividly as I'm making my hand into a turkey in second and third grade, I vividly remember that my school told me that Thanksgiving was when pilgrims and Indians came together. So I just said, let me see the story of Thanksgiving. All of a sudden, I'm seeing that it was Abraham Lincoln when fighting with the North versus the South in the Civil War in 1963, he made a dinner, a thanks, right? A lot of the wars happened in the South. So as a good gesture, went to help them out as they were struggling the most, getting rid of slavery and impacting them the most. That's where the wars were. And then in 1964, made it a proclamation saying the third Thursday will be a holiday. Like, that's how it started. Had nothing to do with the pilgrims and Indians. How I've been lied to. So this had me thinking of like, how do I say it? Capitalism holidays. Like, we talk about this often. And this is why me and my wife, Sophia, on Valentine's Day, number one, I don't need Valentine's Day. Now, this is like cynical talking, right? We could talk about this all day long. You don't need to hear how I view it. But I want you to look at it from a capitalistic point of view. For example, Halloween that came out. How convenient that we have to give candy and a lot of the sales, majority of the sales throughout the year, up to over 30% of all candy sales happen in the month of October. Crazy how that works, right? So it's a capitalistic holiday. So it had me thinking of the holidays I really don't care much about. And the holidays are, is thinking of the Thanksgiving, like truly very little impact. Now, why do I not care for it so much? It's not, I love my mother-in-law, I was just teasing. It's not that her five-minute conversation turned to 50 minutes. It has nothing to do with that. It has more to do with how much money we spend, how much money we eat, the amount of focus 
on the spending that's necessary, the overpricing, the 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 fact the U.S. has such a surplus of turkey, so much so our national bird wasn't supposed to be an eagle. Benjamin Franklin was heavily lobbying for the wild turkey. That's how much. So it's like this this find a way to sell you as much turkey as possible because we have so much of it. And so it's these capitalistic holidays that bother me, like Valentine's Day, as I was saying before. You and my wife rarely go on actually Valentine's Day. We normally go out maybe the Saturday before or after, like I know a lot of you may do as well. Hey, listen, it's cheaper, less crowds. And I like to say in my card that I write her, every day is Valentine's Day. You know, try to get some win points there. But like you start looking at all this and I, I like look like birthdays. Some people don't like birthdays. Like I get birthday, right? Celebrates you when you were born. Hey, we want to we want to show you how special you are in this one day. I get that. Halloween even. I'm not upset at Halloween. It's time for kids to be kids. Let them dress up for once. You know what I mean? They don't really get to dress up outside of that. So I respect that too. So but it's like the, the Valentine's Days, the Thanksgivings, you know, the Mother's Day and Father's Day. I get it. It's nice to show appreciation. But quite frankly, every day should be Mother's Day and Father's Day. You know, that's one way of looking at it. Now they came out with Grandfather's Day, Grandmother's Day. Get this. Grandparents' Day. I think that's a third one. Then you have like Secretary's Day. Listen, I love my secretary. But seriously, like every time. These are Hallmark holidays. This is capitalism at its finest. Oh, we have somebody here at work that loves cats. She says, happy National Cat Day. Happy National Black Cat Day. It's like, I swear to you, every three months go by, she's telling me happy something cat day. I'm just telling you, it's just crazy. When are we going to wake up and realize that this whole thing is a charade? That's all I'm saying. I'm nothing against it. But you have to understand the mentality of this and the conflicts of interest that arise from this. Who is promoting this stuff? People that want to sell it to you. And why are we using the words holidays so comfortably. Holidays is a derivative of holy days. Easter, Christmas, Hanukkah. These are holy days. We should be celebrating holy days. These are, you know what I mean? These are uh, they call, uh, vacations. <laughs> These are acknowledgments of days. So I, I, I respect those that have those days. I get it. And listen, I'm not here to say I don't like birthdays. I'm not here to say I don't like Valentine's or any of that. I'm just letting you know everything has a financial side to it. And you have to wake up and see that. There is more to this than what you see, more than what meets the eye. Everything in life has a purpose. Everything we're seeing on TV has a purpose. Even current events sometimes have their own narrative and initiative behind it. We've seen that through politics in the past maybe six plus years. You have to be mindful. You have to be cautious. And the smarter you become, the more miserable you may become. And I don't want that. And you don't want that. The idea here is just to say, listen, be aware of what's going on. Don't get influenced by all the crap that is out there. You shouldn't. There is no reason you should be letting that affect your day-to-day -day living. And these periods of time where people are telling you when to spend money, when to buy a card and when to show love is a joke. Now, I get it. If I was on the receiving end of that, if I tried to sell that to my wife and say on Mother's Day, I'm not even going to acknowledge it, I would not be happily married. I get it. The idea is, is just so you know, having that casual understanding, conversation about it is going to be crucial because once you start recognizing that, your eyes start opening for a little bit more. And this all plays in to your finances. What's on TV? What's the narrative they're pushing? They're talking about how the stock market's going to do, how the bond market's going to do, how the crypto market's going to do, what's going to happen with the interest rates, inflation. How's that going to affect into politics? What are you doing? Are you getting emotional in your financial situation? I see that often as well. This is where you always need to take that step back. By the way, folks, if you're just joining me, you're listening to Gabriel Shane, Certified Financial Planner, and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here on every weekend. I'm talking about all things of personal finance. And I'm bringing this up to you to understand there's a capital list aspect to it. Let's look at COVID, whether you're for or against it. I mean, nobody was for it, but you know, you got a lot of people that were anti-vax. That was a big thing now. Right, wrong, or different. There are people who benefited 
from COVID, that pandemic. I'll give you a company in particular. Zoom benefited perfectly over that. What about Pfizer? What about Johnson & Johnson? What about Moderna? You'd be a fool to think they didn't benefit from this. I'm not saying they started it. I'm just saying there is always value to it. How about all these deaths that happened due to COVID? Why? There were subsidies given to the hospitals to say they had COVID deaths. It created a conflict of interest. How many jokes did we see online? Somebody gets hit by a bus. And they're like, oh, died from COVID. They had COVID when they died. It's COVID death. These are aspects you just have to be aware of. Everything ties to finance. And when we come back, we're going to go on a quick break. We're going to talk about just the simple sides of things that are happening and how it impacts you and your finances and how you need to look at it on what you are doing, how you are acting, and how you manage your financial situation, how your future is going to look, what you should do with your debt. You know, financial institutions want you to pay off your loan because they don't want you to still have that 2.5%. Are you being lied to on how that works? Financial independence, financial freedom. Okay, why? Well, so, so now you're cash poor and house rich? It was 2.5%. Why are you rushing to pay 2.5% when you get 5% in a CD? You get what I'm saying? That makes no sense. But yet people are doing it because that's what we were raised to do. How about we have continuous learning Continuous education, how it works. Now, folks, if you need help with that, we're here to do it. Take a look at your situation. Get through all the fog and the mist and everything that's out there. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird, where we can help just make sense of your situation. I see it all far too often. I started talking about holy days or holidays and went now talking about what you're seeing on the TV and how that's impacting your day-to-day -day life. We're gonna talk about that on a couple of extremes here when we come back in just a moment. This is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner, your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth. That's on every weekend. We're going over all important topics of personal finance. We're going over retirement planning, making sure you're prepared for retirement, social security and strategies, real estate, taxes, avoiding them now and in the future, investments, reducing fees, commissions, and so on, insurance and estate planning. Folks, we are offering a free financial assessment that you could take advantage of. We have offices all across Southern California, including the Inland Empire. Give us a call to take Take advantage. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird, or visit our website, falconwealthplanning.com. That's falconwp.com for short. Enjoy the show. We look forward to serving you. Welcome back, folks. This is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner, and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here on every weekend. And we're just talking about this beautiful capitalistic society. How great is that? If you want to make money, all you have to do is work really hard. And maybe you want to come up with an invention? Great. Work really hard to find one that many people want, and you can go out and sell it. And if you're an inventor, you can make 100 things and keep selling those 100 things. If you're a salesperson, you can find somebody that everyone wants, and you can communicate better than them, and you go sell that to other people. You can make unlimited money here, folks. All you have to do is find your niche, find your specialty, find your passion. It's pretty cool. No one's going to tell you you made enough. Sure, we tax you a little bit more the more money you make, and sometimes a lot more, but we never take it all. If you make $10 million a year, and then you go to make $20 million a year, you still are going to have more money, even on that next $10 million. They're never going to tax it all. You get what I'm saying? They're always going to leave some. And today's tax rates, they'll take about 50%, depending on the state you live in. Even if you make $1 billion a year, it may take. 500 million to taxes. You get what I'm saying? You'll always come out ahead. That's capitalism. They want to motivate you. But I'm here talking about the noise that's going around and understanding how capitalism is trying to control you, trying to manipulate you. And that's the negative side of capitalism. I just was kind of being silly in the first segment, talking about how holidays are annoying. The whole point of it is just to get you to spend money versus the holy days they don't. Uh, you can argue with Christmas <laughs> or Easter, buying eggs, Christmas, buying gifts and lights and so on and so forth. But the idea is this. It trickles down to not just that. Capitalism's idea is to have you move into a direction they want so they can sell you. And sometimes the selling is just you turning on the TV. Sometimes the idea is to get you riled up to make a decision. You know what they call that? And by the way, what I'm saying sounds familiar, right? 
whether it's social media, right? Whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whether it's TV, CNN, Fox News, they get you mad, don't they? And what do you do? You keep watching, they keep feeding. They keep adding fuel to that fire. How about you just take a chill pill? How about you just focus on life? How about you put the phone down, you turn off the TV? And by the way, this whole phone and iPads, kids are on it, parents are now on it nonstop, and the kids are craving for the attention. What do you think TV was in the 60s and 70s? Can you all chill? This is not the first time this has happened. You know what 100 years before that was? Books. Oh, look, they're always reading the books or the paper. Oh, they're not even paying attention to the kids. Like, give me a break. This is human nature. People get consumed in the things that interest them a little bit. Now, should they be giving a lot more attention to the kids? I don't know. How about we talk to the generations before? Always we should give attention to kids or parents or family or coworkers or whatever. Part of capitalism is keep you busy, keep you entertained, keep you picking up that newspaper, picking up that book, keep watching TV and keep on social media. <laughs> you like that? Social media? Uh, maybe it'll stick. You get what I'm saying, guys? Just everybody needs to chill and understand everybody's trying to profit off you, right? The bookstore is trying to sell you that book. The newspaper is selling ads that's trying to sell you. Commercials on TV and ads on social media and on your phone. Nowadays, it's all information. It's cookie tracking. Every time you buy something on Amazon, it follows you. Now it knows what you like. Hey, you shared your location, shared your age. You have to put all that stuff in the profile on Amazon. So the idea here, hey, you might even have, by the way, an Amazon credit card, which is really good, it's 5%. Now they have your income information, assets, financial, social, date of birth. They do an Equifax quick credit check. They can see how much you have, all the bank accounts you have. Oof, talk about information age, right? Capitalism, they sell that stuff. Performance cookies, what do you think is happening? All I'm saying is how cool is it? Just for one time, just to just, Look up and enjoy the air. Take a big, deep breath. Look at the kids and know they're not going to be kids. Look at the kids that you have that are maybe 30s and 40s and say, man, I remember them when they were little. Or, hey, look at their little one. Enjoy time with them if they have kids. Enjoy life. Understand what's prioritized that you want in life. Sometimes the best way to do that is ask yourself, what does money mean to me? I can spend more time with family. got to buy more things, buy more interests, travel more. You know, some people love gardening. I love gardening. It's my way to be one with like nature and the earth. Go out there, just picking things from my tangerine tree, kind of watering and just waiting for my pear and pomegranate and apple tree to give, to give more, adding miracle grow, whatever the case is. It's your way. There is no distraction. You know, I'm a podcast person, audiobook person. I listen to that when I work out, but how nice would it be instead of my being stationary in my stationary bike, the Peloton or whatever it is, how about I go take an actual bike and ride around town? Enjoy the scenery. These are the things that some people take for granted. And when you do nature items such as uh, travel, gardening, time with family, whatever it is you like, jogging without listening to anything, a podcast or a radio or music, yeah, you are getting nature the way it was designed to do, where you are aware of your surroundings. And you'd be surprised how much clear choice you can make and how, li uh, how you do not get upset as much as you currently do. And you can become less controlled. You make decisions on your own. And so my comment earlier was about the holidays. I don't like capitalism telling me when I need to do holidays. I get Halloween, even though I don't call it a holiday. I call it an event that we recognize nationally. Uh, Halloween, it's nice to have my kids to see them dressed up along with everybody else. I like that. It's cool. I'm not saying I like all days that uh, capitalism has created. I'm not saying I dislike those. I just think it's weird about Valentine's and uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Grandpa Day, Grandma Day, Grandparents Day, Secretary Day. You know, I think those are Thanksgiving. I mean, I, we should always give thanks, right? I mean, do a little prayer before a meal, like, thank God I got food. People in the Middle East right now are having trouble. Wouldn't you agree? Right, wrong, or indifferent, aren't they struggling? Some of them, no electricity, no food, definitely no job, no shelter. Eesh, be thankful, huh? I just gave that example the first segment of North and South during the Civil War. The South got beat up pretty bad. 
right, wrong, or indifferent, right, slavery or not. I'm just saying these are humans. They thought it was right. I don't, I'm not even going to for a minute compare that to Israel and uh, what's going on in Gaza with Hamas. I'm not even going to admit that. That's murder and that's torture. I get it. That's things that's happened also during the Civil War. We had some nasty things go on there too. I get that too. The idea of using war to now create Thanksgiving for a day of thanks, I understand the merit behind it. My old point, I don't need it. So the idea with all this is just be aware of what people are telling you to do. Uh, by the way, folks, if you're just joining me, you're listening to Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner, your host of More Knowledge or Wealth here every week. And we're talking about all four topics of personal finance. Today, I just want to talk about capitalism and how that impacts you and how you need to take control of your situation. And what this all leads to, the grand scheme of this whole thing, was to say to be disciplined. Understand there are outside forces trying to control you. Now, this isn't all sublim uh, subliminal stuff and propaganda stuff. This is just in general. When you watch an ad on TV, what is the goal of the ad? To try to tell you, sell you, manipulate you to buy their product and why it's better than anything else. Hello? Do you buy everything you see on commercials on TV? Highly doubtful. That's the case would all be driving a Buick. I swear those commercials are nonstop. They're never ending. Nothing's wrong with a Buick, but my God. <laughs> so the logic of this whole thing is take control of yourself. Know what you need to do to be successful. And that may be as something as just saving into your 4K. I don't care about all this junk that's happening. I mean, obviously you care, but can you control it? Do you have an end way to solve the issues that are bringing upon you? Can you specifically fix what's going on in Israel and Hamas? Could you specifically help and fix what's going on with uh, our current legal system and the House and the presidents and the uh, debates and the uh, presidential election that's coming up here. And I get it. It takes one person to start a revolution. It takes one person to make impact. I'm not discounting that at all. But if you're just wanting to complain, if you're just wanting to nag, if you're just wanting to find a reason to be unhappy, because our current setup is it's better for our media channels when you're unhappy. They're not happy, the media channels, unless you're not happy. They want to make sure you're unhappy before they become happy. And so the thought of that is just take control and find out what the goal of your situation is. It could be just having a good and happy and healthy family. It could be financial security, which means forget all this hoo-ha. The stock market goes up over time. I know it drops. There's no guarantee of this, but I think we can agree that companies' goals are to make money, and that's the original conversation of capitalism. Participate in it. Averages 10% return annually. That's what the S&P does. There's other indices that do more. So the thought of this is stick to the plan. When a majority of people's dishappiness comes because of the lack of financial security, you could solve that at least by staying disciplined and saving and no matter how much you should save and where you should save and how you should invest. And if you don't know those questions, and if you are concerned, if you're thinking it's too late, I don't care if you're 55 years old or you think you're way behind or you lost all your money, whatever the case is. Listen, there's financial professionals that can help you. And we're one of them. My company, Falcon Wealth Planning, was founded to help people like you. Yes, we do help the rich get richer. I get it. But we also help the aspiring become financially independent. If you need help with that, give us a call. We've got offices all over. We'll give you one to two meetings, one to two hours of our time at no cost. Our phone number, 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. We want to be able to answer those questions that you have. We want you to be able to at least find some peace, find some hope, find some positivity in what's going on right now. There's always some positivity. I don't care what it is. You can send me a situation, I'll find some positivity in it. It could be the most innocent person dying and the saddest death and the most unnecessary death. What's positivity of that? Find a way to help those in need here, locally. How about maybe you appreciate some of the little ones that you have in your life currently? How about you go out of your way to help mentor, financially support, or to just help live a better life of somebody that you see 
in the same age group that you saw go through that trauma. Maybe you could do something to have preventative awareness for what's going on with it. I'm not saying it was good that would happen. I'm saying find positivity. That's it. Because there's two types of people when duress happens. I'll give you an example. When my father passed away, I was 23 years old. It was devastating. He was a primary breadwinner of their family. We were a very, very, very close family. It's very easy to go on the other side and say, gosh, this is God. This is all your fault. And go down a slippery slope. Or bring you closer to God saying, I'm sure there was a reason this happened. Right, wrong, or indifferent. Whether you think we're stupid for what we did or smart what we did, the idea is we found positivity in And we blossomed as a family as we came closer and stronger together. Find positivity brought me closer to my church. It gave me closer to my family. It made me focus a lot more on my professional and personal goals. Because I knew that's what my father wanted. And I still believe he's watching us happy today. Find a way to be positive, no matter how dire the situation is. I promise you, mental positivity, you will find a way to make it good. I like to say if you're negative, I, I used this analogy before. You could be married to Jesus Christ, the Savior himself. If you're a negative person, if you were the spouse that's married to Jesus, if you were Jesus' wife, assuming he was married and you were to do that, you could be like, look, this guy, he's never home. He's always out there caring about other people. What else could you say? You know, he, he's killing himself. He knows he's going to die. He killed himself. He sacrificed himself. He's not thinking about me. He's leaving, killing himself, leaving me all alone by myself, knowing he's going to die all for other people, not even thinking about me. You know what I'm saying? Even Jesus Christ himself, you can find a way to be negative. So there's two sides to this story. And I'll always find the positive and negative. So can you find that positive, especially as we enter this holiday season. Folks, this was a fun, fast show today. A little bit different of a spin, all focusing on capitalism and mentality and self-awareness. Feel free to reach out to myself or any one of my colleagues here at Falcon Wealth Planning. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's falcon, WP.com for short, where you can go and submit a free assessment to relate the show to your specific situation. And we're able to answer those questions in one to two meetings, one to two hours, and point you in that right direction. And our website has the Knowledge Center where you can get this episode, our previous episodes, whether you're on podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, whatever the case is, or our Knowledge Center through YouTube. So much fantastic stuff on there as well as we've had hundreds of thousands of viewers on that in less than a year. Folks, we want to thank you for tuning in with us. We want you to enjoy your week. Have a great weekend and God bless.